this is our I don't know what this is this is a bit no a, this is a, a little bit of a mishmash um, just to I suppose bring us up to date yeah yeah we as you know we came up the um, Northampton flight and we're just killing time really till Christmas so yeah yeah we know where we want to be at be. Christmas yeah. um, where we want to be for Christmas so we're just backwards and forwards just chilling taking it easy yeah as you do shopping well we're at gate and junction and we want to be going that away so what i've actually done i've left the stern tied on there and the wind is actually blowing the front end round so i'll wait till that get round gets round a little bit more take off the stern rope and uh jobs are good this is what I love about narrowboat life. We've just done our mad rush up the Neen and spent the last three days just moored up outside uh, Gayton Marina on the uh, canal there. And we got there Sunday, today is Wednesday. Had a few little things to do on my to-do list, nothing major. Took the dogs out this morning, nice walk. Got to about half past 12 and I said to Deb, come on, let's move on. And uh, just for a change of scenery. We're not going far, we're gonna to head towards Braunston. I think it's only about 13 miles, but it'll probably take us three days to get there. Um, it'll probably get as far as the Buckby Flight of Locks today, the bottom of those, um, where you've got Wilton Marina, um, nice little chandlers there, and a cafe that does a wonderful breakfast. Um, then probably go up through the Buckby Locks, get to, um, Norton Junction, spend a night there, nice pub there, uh, do some wonderful meals, and then head through the Braunston Tunnel, down the Braunston Flight of Locks uh, to Braunston. First, um, first off, we left Gayton Junction yep. and went up towards Braunston. Yeah. Yes, didn't quite get that far. No, because no, <laughs> we had, uh, had a phone call had from a, well, a it two phone calls. Yeah. Um, where one set of friends were coming back to their boat. Um, in Blissworth and another set of friends were moored up on the towpath in Blissworth so so we turned around and thought well yeah let's uh, go back and see those so that's what we did going out on a social evening and I thought that would be a good idea to take my video rig with my video light but I've got a very bright light shining in our face and we're trying to walk along a, a towpath. Magic so, towpath. Yeah so I'm gonna turn this off and continue filming when we get there. You mustn't stray from the path because if you do you'll end up in there somewhere behind me. I should have Debbie. And here might be a little bit of a clue as to where we're spending this evening. Trick or treat? That trick. <laughs> ah. Oh, you got me. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish <laughs> you, you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Come on. Right. Hello, Eric. Hello, Eric. Come, come on, then. Get back. There's Mark and Julie from We're on the Move. Just come down to Gate and Junction to fill up the water, ready to turn round and head back down the GU. Yeah, so that was our, our night with uh, Mark and Julie. Yep. Uh, plenty of alcohol and uh, a late night. And then uh, two nights later, we had our latest night ever on our narrowboat we're nor normally in bed by 
Uh, ten o'clock. Oh, you mustn't <laughs> say that. Normally bed by about ten. Um, yeah, but we had a, a Harper's two quarter three session. Yeah. With Ian and Linda, I should have should have known that was going to be a late one when Ian turned up at our boat with his jammy bottoms on. Loungewear. Oh, sorry, yeah. loungewear. Loungewear. Yeah. Jammies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we made our way up to Braunston yeah. and we uh, done the tunnel and that's the first time ever that I've done a tunnel with up up at the tiller with Mark. Yeah, um, Deb's yeah. normally inside. With and, the dogs. Uh, but we had the conversation with friends. Um, well, if Deb's inside and something happened to me, how long would it be before, before knew. Deb knew that I'd fell off the back? So... Yeah. We decided to do the tunnels together. Yeah, and that weren't too bad. No. Well, we can just make out right in the centre of the boat, in the distance, the entrance to Braunston Tunnel. Done this one before, didn't enjoy it, not expecting to enjoy it this time. Just don't like the tunnels. But this time, I'm not on my own. I've got tunnel mate. <laughs> so I'm ready. So uh, Deb's going to um, experience what it's like at the helm of the boat as we go through a tunnel. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why, I've said it before, I don't know what it is about the tunnels I don't like. Not claustrophobic or anything like that. Mm. Uh, it's, it's just the, the, the daunting prospect of meeting other boats and them not being where they should be. And this, this tunnel has got a, a dog leg in the middle. Um, and you, you never told me that. Yeah, and you, you don't want to meet anybody there. And last time, that's where we met somebody. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, I don't think we'll get any footage as we go through there because it goes pretty dark, but yeah. uh, I might try. And if not, I'll see you see when we you get out. See you on the other side. <laughs> this is always the daunting bit, just approaching the tunnel, blackness, and you're just looking to see if you can see a headlight. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Oh dear. Is that the end of the tunnel? No, it's a long tunnel. Oh, hold on tight, Deb. Yes, what did you mean about the dog leg in the middle if you can see the end of the tunnel? You'll find out when you get to the middle. <laughs> say we, I, managed to do a, a little bit of upcycling for Debbie. Uh, there was something on Debbie's list of I wants and I managed to get what she wanted but by making them out of something we already had. Tight wad. <laughs> well I'm in the cratch doing a little bit of, I wouldn't call it DIY, I would call it um, boaty make do. Um, we try to uh, adapt and make do rather than buy new. Deb bought herself a nice pair of Jules uh, Wellingtons, but they're a little bit too tight, so she can't get a thick sock on and um, tuck her jeans in. And she only wanted them just for hopping outside, walking the dog. Um, she wished she'd have bought the Welly Bobs, which are a, a cut down version of the Welly. So we're now turning Deb's uh, full length Wellingtons into Welly Bobs, and <laughs> so I've done it. Yeah, so here's the offending Welly. But, um, it's a little bit too tight. I think you're right if you're Kate Moss and you've got nice thin calves. No, no disrespect to Debbie's beautiful calves, but they're not as thin as Kate Moss's. So with the welly bobs, I think people, you may have seen them. Um, the profile of the welly bob finishes here. So all, all I've done is uh, cut along that profile line and ended up with this, which is a nice, so rather than spending £40 on a new pair of welly bobs, we have upcycled. There we go, the finished article. One new pair of welly bobs. And Deb's well chuffed with those. Yeah, 
Yeah, so behind me you can see all the uh, all the canal boats that are all been laid up for winter, all outside Gate and Marina. Um, there are three abreast along here, but this time of year you don't get a lot of um, traffic coming past. This going that way, that is down the Northampton Arm, um, which leads on to the River Neat. Yeah, so we've got various different boating organisations here, the Canal Boat Club. We have Diamond Resort Boats. We have the familiar colours of the ABC High Boats. Uh, just behind me there, I think you can see, moving ahead out of the way, yep, there. There's the uh, point where you refuel. Now, we came here to refuel yesterday, and this gap, if I just turn the camera around, this gap here was three boats deep so for us to get fuel we actually had to moor out uh, the fourth boat and as you can see if you put a fourth boat in there it doesn't leave room to get a narrow boat but again like i said it's not busy this time of the year and there over there you have the marina um chandlery which is uh, very competitively priced well, we're now going to go through Blissworth Tunnel. Now, I think this will be the God. fifth, sixth time yeah. that we've been through. Yeah. Uh, just trying to kill time uh, for Christmas. So we're just backwards and forwards along the Grand Union at the moment. Still not the biggest fan of tunnels, but we've just, done the, tunnel. just done the Braunston Tunnel a couple of days ago. Uh, coming up from Braunston uh, to this area, passed a couple of boats on the way, no incidents. No. No. And uh, well, just yeah, fingers it's, crossed. It's just this this <laughs> first little bit as you uh, fingers crossed for this. Yeah, bit. we're both peering. Yeah, so we're now entering. Oh. Oh, there could be something. Oh, it could be something, but coming a long way off. Way. Long way yeah, off. A long way off. A light, so yeah. Yeah, there is, there is oh. a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, there is a light. It's, I've got the torch now. <laughs> yes, that is a light. Unless it's going the other way. Yeah, that should be the back of a boat actually blocking out the light at yeah. the end of the tunnel. Or it could be the front of the boat, and that is the yeah. light on the front of the boat. Well. Watch this space. <laughs> yeah. yeah, watch but this space. As you can see, if I take the light off our faces, it's quite Ooh. quite dark in here. And with the light on our faces, I can't see where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we we'll put this torch down for uh, safety reasons. And we'll see you on the other yeah, side. Yeah, we'll see you on the other side. We might <laughs> even meet you halfway. Right, we're now not quite halfway through, but um, let's see if you can see. It's changed. Uh, yeah. Oh, let me let me turn the camera around. We're now at this section that was. Oh, there's the wall. Hang on, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we're now at the section that was restored in the uh, mid '80s. I'll put the the link for the proper date up. Um, just bear with. Yeah, so all of this is new, concrete lined, and they use the same technology um, that they used for doing the channel tunnel. Yeah, so these are all interlocking concrete blocks, and when we go out, there's a, a large concrete ring on the side, which I'll show you guys, as to how big the rings were. Just have to be careful of the, the little waterfalls that we get. <laughs> I don't know whether you'll see this. This. I think it's going to get. Yeah. You can normally get past them. Debbie's actually uh, pulling a funny face. 
and taking the boat through the Blissworth Tunnel. You're loving it. It's hard to keep it straight. Yeah, it's um, obviously some of you guys with driving license have, have driven in the fog, and you're always you're always looking for that point to try and focus on. You're always, always straining your eyes, and it's the same effect when you're looking down towards the end of the tunnel. Very disorientating. Especially when you've got a torch in your face. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, That's for okay. health and safety reasons, I'm going to put the torch down. Yeah, that would be a good and, idea. Uh, join you all when we get at the other side. <laughs> yeah, so the view you're actually getting now is the view um, that we get at the tiller. Uh, you can just make out a tiny little speck in the distance, and I do believe there is there is a boat ahead of us going out. I we have our, so. um, all the cabin lights on and the curtains open. That just shines a little bit more light out through the portholes. Right, so we're now coming towards the end of the tunnel. Back to the old original brick line bits where there's been some repairs. Just on the um, left or port side, we should be able to see that concrete ring that I mentioned. Yeah, so all that repair work was uh, a series of these big concrete rings put together and that was actually um, testing that sort of technology for the building of the uh, channel tunnel. So I've come back up to the uh, um, concrete ring just to give you a, a bit of an idea of just how big they are. Here it actually shows you the water line. So this bit was below the water, and this bit was the ceiling of the tunnel. And this um, section of the towpath has been restored. It's quite novel. It's uh, springy and bouncy. It's the same sort of stuff they use in um, children's playgrounds in school. Chopped up rubberized chips that are laid down in a resin. So if I fall over, I'm not going to hurt myself. Um, as we said, this was going to be a little bit of a mishmash um, of video clips. So if you did enjoy this video, press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button. And if you want future notifications of any more videos we upload, the bell icon hit the bell and uh, you'll be notified, notified every time yeah. we upload there's if you hit there's a little arrow if you hit the more section it will um, bring up the links to the video equipment that i use i've been asked this before yeah and i think that comments oh comments yeah your comments. sorry yeah keep your comments uh, coming comments. Uh, it does keep me busy uh, answering it does. all of those and it's <laughs> yeah it's always always amusing to read read them and yeah. uh, that's it that's it yeah, yeah so, so see you next week yeah bye, bye.